What does an ancient reef, the highest point in Texas, and Lyndon B. Johnson have in common? All three contribute to the exciting wonder that is Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Today we're going to explore the wildlife of McKittrick Canyon in the Chihuahuan Desert, discover the story of how a judge pushed for the creation of the National Park, and take a look into life on a Texan ranch. It's time to head into the foothills and dig up the facts about Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Wildlife is an essential part of our national park system, and Guadalupe Mountains is full of amazing creatures that inhabit the park's many different habitats. Roaming the Chihuahuan Desert are reptiles like the western diamondback rattlesnake and the collared lizard, along with smaller creatures such as scorpions and tarantulas. Many animals that live in the desert are nocturnal, coming out at night when temperatures are cooler than during the day, when the sun beats down causing heat of over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Animals are also plentiful in the many streams that wind their way across the landscape, including the many waterways in McKinner Canyon. Rainbow trout and long-eared sunfish can be seen swimming in the rivers and springs in the park, and occasionally a Rio Grande leopard frog can be seen basking in the water of small pools. The mountains also offer a wide variety of wildlife, including fox, bears, elk, and mountain lions. Above the land soars the turkey vulture and red-tailed hawk, patrolling the skies for their next meal. These creatures all serve different purposes within the park ecosystem, and were a large part of the daily lives of the Apache people, who fled to the Guadalupe Mountains after war with their neighboring Comanche people forced them to retreat and find shelter. The Apaches used the land wisely, valuing the agave plant in particular for its many ceremonial uses, as well as its ability to be harvested as food. However, a series of well-fought battles between the Apaches and a group of soldiers known as the Texas Rangers forced the Apaches to leave the land, which began a new page of history for western Texas. Two ranches on the property, Frijole and Williams Ranch, show how Americans, like the Apaches, also used the land to their advantage. Frijole Ranch had a few tenants before its first major resident, John Thomas Smith, moved in 1906. Surrounded by springs, Smith and his family planted many different fruits and vegetables, which with the help of the springs grew into successful produce which was either sold or eaten by Smith and his family. Livestock was also raised and sold to local buyers, which helped the family get more cash and eventually expand their house. Throughout the 1920s and 30s, the ranch was the community center of the Guadalupe area, hosting dances and important meetings with the locals. Finally, in 1942, the ranch was sold to Jesse Coleman Hunter. Williams Ranch was another popular property within the current park boundaries, with James Williams acquiring the land in 1917 and raising cattle before switching to sheep and goats. Williams would meet up with lots of different people during his time in western Texas, even getting produce from the Frijole Ranch just a few miles from his property. Williams left the ranch at the beginning of the 1940s, and in 1942, Williams Ranch was also bought out by J.C. Hunter. Hunter was a judge in the area, and was a huge influence on the mechanics of daily life in western Texas. He originally hoped to turn his acquired land into a Texas state park, but eventually turned the land over to the National Park Service in 1966. On October 15th of that year, Lyndon B. Johnson established Guadalupe Mountains National Park. The park would officially be opened a few years later in 1972. History and nature provide many places to explore the wonder-filled past of the Guadalupe Mountains, and the Frijole Ranch, which is now a history museum, is a great place to explore interactive exhibits about the ranch and its local community. However, possibly the most famous attraction in Guadalupe Mountains National Park is Guadalupe Peak. Standing at 8,749 feet, the highest point in Texas requires a 4-mile one-way hike to reach the summit, but the view is a rewarding one showing deserts, canyons, and forests all in one panoramic vista. The hike to the summit also reveals the geological story of the park, with the Guadalupe Mountains as well as several other mountain ranges in the area being part of a huge underwater reef called the Capitan Reef about 250 to 300 million years ago. The reef was eventually buried, but around 20 to 30 million years ago, plate tectonics caused buried portions of the reef to re-emerge as mountains and expose ancient fossils of now extinct life dating from the Permian era around the time when Capitan Reef flourished. Mountains like El Capitan and Guadalupe Peak are two great examples of the emergent reef, and one can ponder what the landscape might have been like all those years ago. Each of our national parks has a unique story to tell, and Guadalupe Mountain shows how many different cultures can come together to tell the story of one of Texas's most spectacular natural wonders.